very happy, uh, but actually it's not my second season. I only played half of the season in, uh, in Barcelona, so it was, I was very happy there. But here I, I get to start the, the challenge from the first game and with a new team. So it's very, very exciting for me. I understand the details and of playing in high level competition. Uh, also playing a lot of games between the ACB and EuroLeague. Have to, to prepare the games. It's a, it's a constant effort. And every, every week you have two games. So it's, it's very demanding on, on players mentally and physically. So I understood that, and now I think I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, I'm more ready than I was, I was last year, and also understanding uh, the referees, how they call the game, it's much different from what I was used to in, in, in France. So it was, it was nice to, you know, starting to get to know the, the competition. And like I say, now it's, it's, it's better. Uh, I feel more ready than I was last year. The coach Juan Badza asked the same thing to all the players, the players that were there last year that he already worked with. Uh, the new guys on the team, it's all the same. Every time you step into the arena, every time you step into the court, uh, you have to improve. No matter if you 18 or 35, if you sign here, you have to be a better basketball player at the end of the year than you was at the beginning. So. Uh, that's how I think too, that's, that's what brought me here, it was a very interesting philosophy and uh, he's very demanding of players because he's very demanding of himself and we work a lot and I think we have a, a perfect team for that because we have a lot of guys that are willing to work hard to, to have success so um, yeah that's what Coach Paza asked, dedication, work, pay attention to details and it's been great so far. I mean, on the teams, on every team, I feel like we're talented, but we might not be as talented as teams like Cheske or, or the top EuroLeague teams. They are in our group, so the, the details, the focus on the details got to be even more important for us. We can't uh, not box out or uh, turn the ball over as much as they do, maybe, because they have more opportunity to score. The game is maybe easier, and we have a lot of new guys on the team, so we have to find a chemistry quick, and we have to pay attention to, to, to details and do as many mistakes as possible if we want to have a chance to maybe make it to, to, that, to the top 16, and maybe after to the top eight, we'll see. I mean, I think it's the goal every season. Some, some season you succeed, sometimes you don't, but to go as far as, as the team can bring you, uh, to, to have maximized the potential of the team uh, as much as possible. I think it's, it's the goal every year to go as far as possible in, in competition. Uh, I think when you reach the EuroLeague level, no team is telling themselves, uh, okay, if we make it to the top 16, it's good or it's not good, as always. All the teams that are playing in the EuroLeague this year, if you, you ask to any team at the beginning of the year, they're going to try to win it. The competitors is high level basketball, so they're going to try to win it. For us, it's the same. We start the season with this mentality, not thinking, oh, we're going to find an excuse, they're better than us, their budget is bigger. So the, the goal is always going the furthest in the competition as possible. Uh, game after game, not thinking about, okay, top 16 or maybe after, just taking game after game and trying to have as many wins as possible.